Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch You Want. Thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at the Bell & Ross Vintage 126 XL Chronograph. You can see and you can purchase this Vintage 126 Chronograph on our website, WatchYouWant.com. And if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. Now, the Bell & Ross Vintage 126 was the next evolution of Bell & Ross's watches after the great instrument series that started in 2005. As of 2010, Bell & Ross began to tack towards a vintage angle, starting to pay homage to the great technical watches of the past while continuing to push the limits with the instrument series. And the 126 XL represents one of the most wearable and versatile of the new line. You can see on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference. The 126 XL does in fact live up to its name. Vintage perhaps in spirit, but contemporary in its wrist presence. 52 millimeters from extremity of lug to extremity of lug. The watch has fairly impressive span, and in terms of wrist real estate occupied, I would say it's very close to something like a Rolex six-digit Explorer II or an Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore 42 millimeter. Now the watch is 15.5 millimeters thick, but it's not as challenging to fit this under a cuff as you might suspect, and that's because a lot of the girth of the watch actually derives from the generously sloped sapphire, which is almost bubble-shaped specifically to recreate some of the acrylic distortion of a plexiglass early 20th century watch crystal as per the vintage vibe of the watch and the intent to pay tribute to 1940s aviation timepieces. You can also see that the bezel is generously sloped, so this watch will allow a dress cuff or a tighter sleeve, let's get that back in focus, to ride up and over the watch quite easily. Now in terms of comparison, I would say this watch wears a lot like the so-called 146 case Jeger LeCoultre master compressors of the 2000s. And if you look at the watch in this profile, the lug shape is very, very similar. Honestly, if you gave me a blind test when I'm a little bit groggy, I might say that's the JLC master compressor case from the side. And that is a very wearable case, so we're off to a great start. Now you can see that the strap is of outstanding quality. Featuring semi-conforming spring bars, it does close the gap between the end of the strap and the flank of the case, so aesthetically it's very pleasing, but at the same time it allows unlimited flexibility. As long as you have that articulation, it's easy to fit the watch around a smaller wrist. Now it's aviation style, so calfskin leather. It's generously bolstered, so it's got a little bit of swell as it approaches those massive lugs, and a vintage style patina contrasting stitch. The clasp is very impressive, being both brushed stainless steel, double deployant, and thanks to impressive twin trigger release, very secure when closed. You can see the inside with the intricate trigger release system speaks to just how much thought and effort Bell & Ross put into making this watch secure and confident when closed on the wrist. You can also see that the brushed finish, like the case itself, is quite muted and gives this watch a little bit of a stealth effect. This isn't something that's going to be used to light a rescue beacon from 15 miles away. This thing doesn't gleam and flash so much as it glows. It's kind of a slow burn effect and you can see that the dial itself really is the highlight. Uh, framed by a gorgeous 24-hour concave chapter ring. It transitions down from the bezel to a dial best described as 1940s vintage. You have the bicompax chronograph layout. Let's get the chronograph ticking. You can see the unique pump style chronograph pieces, oversized but yet in their form evocative of vintage imagery. And all of the calibrations, now this is true to Bell & Ross's modern tradition as much as any historical predecessor, all of the calibrations are easily legible. All of the Arabic numerals that you can see as well as the broadsword hands at center are abundantly loomed, so when it is dark this one glows like a torch. It does live up to its billing as a tool watch. You're not looking simply at the imagery of a utility watch, but the reality. Now it is anti-magnetic, so it meets the ISO standards for an anti-magnetic watch thanks to a soft iron ring around the movement itself and a Neverox one hairspring. Moreover, the watch features 200 meter water resistance thanks to a screw down crown, this being quite exceptional for a pilot style watch. If you put this on a NATO, which is aero fashionable, or you put it on a strap or a bracelet, and yes, Bell & Ross makes a bracelet for this watch, you're good to go scuba diving, snorkeling, jumping off the diving board, wearing this aviation style watch, and there aren't too many that can pull that kind of double duty. Now the watch is easily legible day or night, so it has that at a glance ease. And when you turn it over, there's yet another Vista awaiting you, and this is the ETA 28942 automatic chronograph caliber. 
Real ETA movements are becoming rare. Harder and harder to get. Treasure them while you can get them because their standard of accuracy and ruggedness, reliability and value is unrivaled and you're gonna miss them when they're gone. This one features what's known as a mod modular vertical clutch chronograph. So if you do want to run the constant seconds full time, you have that vertical clutch resistance to wear. There isn't a separate chronograph drivetrain engaged. When you start it, you can see it starts without jump, stops without stagger, resets precisely to the index at 12, all of the traditional virtues of a vertical clutch chronograph. This 46 joule bi-directional winding automatic is smooth and durable. And since the base movement of it is in fact the ETA 2892A2, a movement I once crashed into tarmac on a bicycle at 20 miles an hour, I can vouch for its durability. You can see this durable, evocative, and yet thoroughly contemporary Bell & Ross Vintage 126 XL Chronograph in stainless steel on our website, watchyouwant.com.